And I'm gonna do a little cleanup here. So similar to before, I just need to clean up any of that gum Arabic scumming. The roller needs to be wrapped back up in aluminum foil, so I'm going to tear a piece of that off big enough to cover the whole thing. I'm going to lay the aluminum foil flat down onto the glass. I put the roller on the end and just roll it up like a little burrito. The roller goes back in the rack. The roller stands go off to the side. To clean the ink slab up, unless there's somebody right behind you ready to use it, uh, what we're gonna start with, once, once again, always wearing gloves when we're using chemicals. I'm gonna scrape up as much ink as possible with that palette knife and razor scraper. So we're gonna be using vegetable oil and soapy water to do most of our cleaning because it's less toxic than chemicals. Um, but I wanna, I don't wanna dump vegetable oil on here immediately. I wanna get as much of this ink as possible up onto these phone book pages before so I'm not just making an oily, greasy mess. So I'm scraping up with the palette knife first and then the, the razor scraper. As those pages get full of ink, I just fold them up, add it to the other side, and once they're so full that I can't use it anymore, I just throw those away. None of the ink uh, will ever go back into the can. So once it's out and contaminated, it doesn't go back into the can. You can see I use the razor scraper to scrape off the palette knife as well. But now here I am using the vegetable oil as a less toxic solution to clean up. The vegetable oil is greasier than the oil-based ink, so it loosens it all up. So I'm breaking all that up first. Also cleaning off the palette knife and the razor scraper. And then using soapy water afterwards. First I used a little bit more vegetable oil. You do not need a ton of vegetable oil to do this. It's just like a little bit goes a long way. So don't forget that the handles uh, may have had ink or grease on them. If you have ink or grease on your gloves, that's an issue because then it, it gets all over those handles and everything you just clean doesn't really matter. So in the end, I'm gonna use the soapy water to make sure I clean the handle, all the sides of the palette knife and the glass so that it is just as clean as when I started, perhaps even cleaner. I can always test, you can see by rubbing my hand, if I don't have ink on it, then I'm good. Next video is press setup.